G'day, 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 ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dylan. This is Tanya. Hi. I'm just making sure that everything's all right because the other screen is behind me, ladies and gentlemen. So if you see me turning my head, it's because I have to see if it's still recording and it's still recording. So, ladies and gentlemen, friends, season eight, episode number 23. 23. Part three. Part three. Yeah. The one where Rachel has a baby, part one. Let's see what happens with this baby. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> that being said, let's jump straight into it. Hopefully you guys do enjoy it. If you do, drop a big thumbs up as well as hitting that subscription button down below and go check these out on full to support us over on Patreon. Guys, let's do it. Let's get into it. Come on, baby. Real loss. From home to the hospital in under seven minutes. We did it. Yes, the hard part is truly over. <laughs> <laughs> Some kind of a record. Record? Oh, you made it! Did you guys walk? No, <laughs> no we took a cab too. Hey, uh, you made it! <laughs> well, Ross, you stay here and talk. I'm gonna go have a baby. Okay, okay. We have a semi private labor room waiting for you. We asked for a private room, and currently they're all unavailable. Man, if only you'd gotten here sooner. <laughs> Sorry, semi private rooms are all we have. Give her some money. That's not how it works, Rachel. Sometimes it does, but in this in this occasion, I think they're out of room. They're not. Ron. What if I was the president? Well, then we'd be in a lot of trouble. You don't know where any countries are. <laughs> private rooms may have opened up. <laughs> This is a hospital. Thanks. Okay. You know what? I have to say, I don't really care for your tone. Oh, gosh. Well, what, what? Oh, we, have we have a problem. We have a problem. Would you like to see us in my private room? Yeah, it couldn't hurt to <laughs> look. <laughs> It'll be a while. Uh, okay. I'll be back in an hour to check you again. I guess we have some time to kill. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> He's an idiot. <laughs> Hi, I'm uh, I'm Ross. I've, I'm here to ruin this magical day for you. <laughs> okay, you Mark Horger, this is my uh, wife Julie. Is this your first? Yeah, it is. Just tell her. That's so sweet. Yeah. Oh. We're all in this together. Yeah, we are gonna share every moment of this. Oh hell no, nah, that's awkward. I think hell no. Nah. We're gonna have some fun. Oh, oh no, I, I really I don't, don't want any both. Ah. Thank you. <laughs> Three hours and still no baby. The miracle of birth sure is a snooze fest. You want to see something? Sure, what? I think we should try to have a baby. Okay. <laughs> What's that now? Okay, I've been thinking about it too, and I, I think we're ready. <laughs> you, you, you think we're ready to have a baby now? Oh, this is fun. <laughs> <laughs> I just want Joey to be the father. <laughs> what? Are you crazy? That's it right there. That's all I wanted. <laughs> Jeez, I oh, got it. Julie's cervix is dilated seven centimeters. That's about four fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, let me feel it myself. No, well, I don't you won't be doing do that. that. Okay, well, if you like, you could feel Rachel's, then feel mine to compare. <laughs> Am I interrupting? Uh, yes, thank you. Oh, no. My child has no father! I actually needed to talk to you before the birth. Okay, what's up? Ma, are you asking me to marry you? <laughs> this is your grandmother's engagement ring. I want you to give it to Rachel. Just hear me no, out. No, no! Humped. <laughs> Humped? should have a family. If you don't, I'll talk more about humping. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Oh, Ross, get in here. She came and dragged me out of the labor room to ask me why I'm not with Rachel. Why aren't you with Rachel? <laughs> Look, we're not going to be together just because we're having a baby. I can't deal with this right now. I have to go have a baby. Right. And with who again? <laughs> 
He's crazy. I would take her in my arms and... Don't. <laughs> Don't. I haven't bummed you guys out like this in a while, have I? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? New people. It's not fair, Ross. I got here first. <laughs> right after you left, they wheeled her off into delivery. Little Jamie just crowning away. Yeah. Sorry. They have uh, some unusual pet names for each other, including um, Evil Bitch and uh, <laughs> Sick Bastard. <laughs> Are you looking at her? No. Don't you look at her, you sick bastard. <laughs> I swear, I wasn't looking at her. She's in labor. You like that, you sick son of a bitch? Because <laughs> you were looking, you fat pervert. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm sure no one was looking. <laughs> you miss your girlfriend? <laughs> oh, boy. She's looking at me. You talk to my husband like that, you stupid bastard. <laughs> Good God, if you want a baby so bad, just go steal it. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on with you? You don't say those sorts of things in a hospital. I'm not crazy about yeah. babies. I'm crazy about us. What? No. I'm starting to think that we can handle it. You want to have a baby? We have two already. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You remember that? Yeah. Back to reality, yeah. Okay. Well, maybe I'm ready now. What? It's not right. We're not ready to have a kid now. <laughs> what? I'm kidding. This is going to be fun. So we're going to try? I mean... Do they should... actually have a kid? I'm not telling you. Do they have a kid with each other? I'm not yes you. or no? I'm not telling you. Yes or no? They adopt. Yes or no? They adopt a, an African I'm child. I'm not saying anything yes. I'm just saying yes or no. <laughs> mm. 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 You know what? I'm not really comfortable doing this in front of the baby. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, well, we could start trying now. Right here? <laughs> oh, not here. Maybe here. <laughs> Building that's full of beds. And it's so clean. <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. You stupid machine. Come on. You stupid. <laughs> hey, I got one, I got one. Something cut out there yeah. on Netflix. Uh, up or down. Oh, down, please. Really, no. Phoebe? I, I hate to be a ball buster, but can I just do it? Could you press up? Sure. Yeah. I feel so bad for you. I broke my leg once, too. Let's just say there was a typographical error with a sex manual. <laughs> what the hell? Some idiot on a cell phone wasn't paying attention. Yeah. He's the idiot. Oh, uh, hey, that's me. Hey, uh, I take it you're just visiting someone. Uh-huh, yeah. Maybe you might want to visit someone else. And oh, yeah, I, I would like that. Gotta press the button. <laughs> <laughs> a nurse said to bring in another woman. Uh, this is another contraction. Oh, okay. Uh, here, here, here. The baby would have been out already if they just had sex. Probably. Baby would have just slid straight... <laughs> <laughs> Straight out. It's hut, hut. Yep. Oh, that's ow, it. That's it. Ow, ow. Mine haven't been so bad. Oh. Ah. Wow. Oh, that was a big one. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. Could you do <laughs> something? The patient I'm looking for has a broken leg. I think I know who you're talking about. Oh, yay! Uh, she's with me, Dr. Drake Ramore. <laughs> Drake who? It's Portuguese. <laughs> we need that information. I'm a doctor. Now, do you want this man's blood on your head? Hands. Hands. <laughs> room the man my assistant described as staying in. <laughs> Slapped her in the eyes. Him for years. He's in room 816. And what is his name? No. He's treating him for years. And okay. what is his name? We found the place. There's no way I'd get a hard on in that oh, place at all. Well, dim the lights. Dim the lights. Someone's gonna walk in. Oh, oh, wait. Do we have a condom? Uh, hello? All right. <laughs> uh oh. Yes, 98.6. You're gonna be fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is it. <laughs> that's him. That's him. Great. We'll go get him. Or maybe you could go in first. Yeah, he's not really my type. 
you, Dr. Drake Ramore. You do attract some stinkers. Yeah, I've been at this for 17 hours. Oh, it's the worst. How many centimeters am I dilated? Three. Just three? <laughs> I'm dilated three. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Don't worry, you're doing great. I'm not waiting. I'm gonna push this baby out. Actually, it's it's more like this. <laughs> oh, stupid metric system. <laughs> We're gonna need to take you straight to the delivery room. Oh, for the love of God! <laughs> I'm Dr. Drake Ramore, and I have a few routine questions. Really, I've been dealing with Dr. Wells. I know. He sent me. <laughs> Dr. Wells is a woman. <laughs> That was a test. Good response. <laughs> Clifford Burnett, November 16th, 1968. Age? <laughs> Can't you figure that out based on my date of birth? I'm a doctor, Cliff, not a mathematician. <laughs> I'm 33. Okay. You have commitment issues. Are all the questions this personal? Yes. <laughs> Uh, if you must know, I'm a widower. Do you sleep with women and never call them again? <laughs> Are you into any weird stuff, you know, sexually? <laughs> no. Ooh, wrong answer. Wrong answer. Uh, he's 33. Um, uh -huh. A widower. Oh, and he's not into anything weird sexually. Enter feats. <laughs> One higher than the number of centimeters that I am dilated. <laughs> And if you bring in one more woman and she has her baby before me, I'm going to sue you. <laughs> Not this hospital. I'm going to sue you. I don't think the next patient is very far along. Hey, well, then bring her in. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure about that? Think about it again. <laughs> oh, my God. God. <laughs> I love Dennis. I think the baby's coming. I can't believe this. And yet somehow it's true. <laughs> baby buddies. Squeeze your legs together and cover the baby's ears. My sweetheart, this is my husband Sid. I don't think you. Do you know who that is? Have a look. I nabbed him a year ago at the dermatologist's office. I still can't believe it. I'm the luckiest guy. In who is he? You have to speak very loudly when you're talking to Sid because he's almost completely deaf. Oh, oh there you go. <laughs> that makes sense. So, congratulations, you two. Oh. I didn't even know you got married. Oh, we're, we're just having this baby together, but... Uh... Why? Why? Uh, well, oh, um, my God. Well, then shut me up. <laughs> just tell me how. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, I feel another one coming. Uh-oh. Do a reenactment of her ten. Go ahead. Do a reenactment of what she was just doing. <laughs> no, I can't do it. <laughs> what do you think her? What do you think sound she will make when she's given birth? <laughs> <laughs> no, like uh, Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, there you go. There you go. That's why there's part one and part two. Oh. <laughs> the baby's not here yet. The well, next one is the last episode, isn't it? Yeah. But guys, I think we're going to jump straight into that now. We're going to shut our mouths oh. real quick. But, uh, yeah, everything's happening. We'll talk about it after the next episode, ladies and gentlemen, because this is a part two. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Let us know in the comment section down below. We'll see you in just a moment, guys. Stay tuned for that. And, yeah, peace. Subscribe down below. Don't forget to wash behind your ears. I've come and keep chasing. I got all this potential that's deep inside of me. But they hate when you're successful because they try to be. They sit there being just meant to because you're trying things. And they just want you to settle and do the right thing. So get a good job. Don't slack off.